morning and welcome to full circle podcast my name is arif gilani each and every morning from monday to friday we're going to be here for 15 minutes to help you with a great mindset incredible stories that we are uncovering and the networks that we are part of and building my co-host and friend rod norwell is in los angeles right now networking with some world leaders, elites, people who are changing and shifting the energy of the world. And that is with a company called Alter Call. So this podcast was sponsored by Alter Call, also by the Camel Company of Canada, which is a company that I established in 2013 with therapeutic uh, natural fiber products that are incredible for your health. Make sure you check out www.camelheal.com and make sure that you find out more about Alter Call. This morning, I have my uh, friend here, Maria. Maria, are you with me? I am. Hello, everybody. What a pleasure to be here with you, Arif. Wonderful Thanks. to have you, Maria. I'm glad uh, we're connected this morning. I have a couple of questions just to tell you to ask you about mindset. Tell us, first of all, your two minute introduction. Who is Maria? Vox, Vox? Yes, uh, Maria, I'm Maria Vox. I am originally from Portugal. I've been in, living in Canada for, since 1989. Um, so I am a hairstylist. I've been doing that for 30 years. I have two children. I'm a single mom and um, that's it. Wonderful, Maria. So tell me, what attracted you to this uh, Full Circle podcast and this uh, uh, movement that Rod and I started? Um, mainly the spirituality, the, um, the community, the uh, uplifting, the kindness, the understanding of people, the uh, uh, no judgment, uh, the love I get, the support. It's a beautiful it. community. So, um, Maria, as you know, over the last two years, I've been on a journey, last three years, actually, of discovery of a philosophy that I wanted to apply to my life on a daily basis. And uh, I have read a lot of on, on Jalal ad-Din Rumi, which is in the Western world known as Rumi. And he says, my religion is love. So we have adopted that and we are trying to spread more love across the world. People who join us and people who become a part of this community, we will help them build their businesses. We are in the beginning stages. We are just students, pretty smart and intelligent students, but we are just students getting started. I believe I have my co-host here, Rod Norwell, all the way from California. He says, good morning. I believe it's really uh, a morning there. It might be five a.m. Rod, are you with us? Yeah, it's five. It's five a.m. <laughs> uh, Ava's alarm is going on off. Just let me turn it off one moment. Five a.m. Entrepreneurs put themselves on the line. So, along with philosophies that you have, you also have to have the work ethic, Maria. Uh, what's your routine? What's your daily routine, Maria? Do you have a special program that you go by after thirty years of really? doing serving and going out in the community yes actually so i have a pretty simple routine but i stick to it i as soon as i wake up i have to have my coffee okay there's no way <laughs> always my coffee but while i have my coffee i have a few minutes of silence always oh. i always go within and i have that uh, connection with uh, with God and uh, yes yes so then I make my bed I have to make my bed right after that I get ready I get my physical appearance ready uh, and then I go to work you know I get everything organized I have to get my room or everything organized and then I'll start work that's basically it Maria, you just mentioned a few things that I could make speeches on every single one of those topics, but one of them was 
to wake up well coffee yes we're all coffee lovers canada is a cold country we drink a lot of coffee and we love it and it's good for your health but the other thing was going within uh you know uh going a little bit uh into a special place where only you the reunion with your maker you're meditating you're thinking you're in your own world am i correct Yes, I feel I, it's like I'm wiring my brain to the day and, and I'm in that connection with uh, with God, with the creator. So part of this morning mindset also comes that having that connection, also having a plan to follow on a daily basis, Maria. I'm very, I could say, very um, strict about planning things out. Mm -hmm. I like to see what happens tomorrow. And when you wake up in the morning and you think about the events of today, you want to you wanna visualize what happens in yes. advance of what is happening. You know, the customers yesterday, we had an interesting call with your client who was uh, uh, from Pakistan and a very interesting conversation. You just anticipate. So today... I'm going to go through the philosophy that we have developed that we're adopting into uh, this conversation, which is what's your story? Really, the Ministry of Miracles was created because I know people are looking for a miracle. People are looking for a formula. People are looking for a way to run their day. Maria, you just did yes. that. You just said how you run your day, correctly? Yes, and that cup of coffee and that moment of quietness, it, I just go through it. First to God, and then I go through my whole day. Wonderful. So yes. how do you power, empower, you, power, empower yourself? How do you uh, energize yourself throughout the day? Not just in the beginning, not just in the middle. Whenever you need to perform, you focus. What do you focus on? You focus on the outcome of your plans not only for the day, maybe for the month, maybe for the year. Some of us are behind. Some of you who hear this, your business has been impacted by COVID-19. You're behind on your payments, maybe big mouth promises you made to your family like me, all of those things. And how do you overcome that? How do you power through that is you have to have a solid plan. You have to have a great uh, internal environment where you get support. You know, I'm getting support from Rod. He's getting from me. And then he's going out getting from Ryan Blair. And we're connecting all over the world to bring you the right mindset. Because when your mind is right, your day will run right. Your week, your month. I can't believe it. Four, six, seven months ago, this Rod Norville, who's right now in California, just put down that he's been here four times this year. In the beginning of this year, Rod Norwell, my very good, great friend, was suicidal. Can you believe how much change can you make in one single year? I'm so Absolutely. excited about this because I see transformation right in front of my eyes. And Rod is an example of that transformation. I'm really, really excited about the future of this the movement we have started. Maria got it to witness for last three years. Well, wow. again, when you see transformation in other people, it's more important uh, when, than when you see it in yourself. I had, or oh, December of 2022, I was 222 pounds and I was feeling heavy and not myself. You know, uh, Maria, how when you gain weight, you feel it. Yes. I was feeling it. So I said, okay, I'm going to go on this program for six months to really get in the best shape of my life. And I first month, second month, third month, very little results, very frustrating, a lot of sweating, a lot of running, a lot of pain. And slowly, slowly results started to show. If you have we a call plan, that self-love. Self-love, yes. If you, you know, I have to shave me. I have to look me in the mirror. If I, if I don't like me, <laughs> how do I expect Maria to like me? <laughs> you know, you, you have to love yourself. This is how you attract the people who are in love with that person who you also are. You, one of the things that you have to put in the basis is integrity. Absolutely. You know. 
integrity is uh, the basis of all what we do. We get, again, Rod and I have been talking about this. And as soon as we have the community to 10 to 12 people, we're going to start talking about leadership. And we will bring this discussion out. You know, I listen to a lot of radio, a lot of live shows, a lot of events that are happening around the globe. And the missing piece around all of this confusion is solid leadership. We don't have leaders like we used to do, like Martin Luther King, like Gandhi, like people who shook the world, like who? The, the pinnacle of leadership, Nelson Mandela. I just love that man. Imagine. Yes, perhaps, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Maria, imagine being in, in prison for 27 years and the same person who tortured you come and sit down to eat at the same table with you. Pardon? That's what Minister Mandela did. The same guy that was, you know, his prison guard. Yes, yes. Invited him to eat at the same table and respected him and let him go. And they asked him why. And guess what he said? What? Well, he said, if I treated him the way he treated me, I'd be at the same level as he is or he was. Exactly. You have to change, to shift the energy. Yes. <laughs> and Rod is messaging me same time, so he's going to do the, the crowd. We're really uh, excited about this. This is what I'm... Uh, Two minutes left, Maria. Let me lay out the plan for the next 90 to 60, 90 to 180 days. Okay. Uh, Rod is really um, right now putting himself on the line to go and get firsthand knowledge from uh, altar call leadership, which, you know, if in terms of money, you couldn't say that. It's NBC, ABC, CNN, everywhere else. You can check out. Um, Ryan Blair, I know Ryan for 10 years in the former company. We work with him, as a matter of fact, Rod and I. And uh, that is um, the quality of leadership that is leading and also sponsoring our program. On the other hand, here in Canada, people need this get together again, community together, trust together. So we're going to be running events on the stages before Christmas. We also will have um, some uh, retreats where we bring expert opinion from around the world to you, to Maria, to me, to Rod, to everyone, so we can use it. I have access to number one doctor, ER doctor in U.S. in California, Rod, and in Texas, my very good uncle, my real, my first blood uncle, Dr. Gilani, is recognized by um, Joe Biden, was invited to the, to the um, dinner party he didn't attend because he doesn't agree with the policies. But we have experts that we can bring to you that will solve every problem. Now, solve it. They will give you the, the advice. They will give you the tools to solve every problem in your life. I'm Arif Gilani. This is 814 at Full Circle Podcast with Maria. Maria, any tips for the rest of the day? Stay, stay focused. Be kind. Be generous. Keep loving. Be kind, be generous, keep giving, keep smiling, keep being you. I'm Arif Gilani. This was the Full Circle Podcast. Thank you for watching and listening. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow again with some updates from my friend Rod Norwell in California. Have a great day, everyone.